Hello folks. Now you're probably wondering, Kale, what the crap are you doing? Well, if you read the title of this episode, you know that we're going to be talking about the future. So we got to look presentable. So that's why I'm wearing this light blue shirt, because everything in the future is going to be light blue, am I right? It's either that or silver, or some crap like that. And the glasses, oh, hot damn, that's what people, everybody will be wearing in the future. Okay, you know what? Screw it. I can't take that anymore. We're just going to wear the glasses I've always worn for throughout the series. Look, I could probably make another 21 minute long episode, or maybe longer, uh, based on theories of the future and crap like that. But we're, I don't want another crazy long episode, so we're just going to narrow it down to food. Now, we're going to talk about two things specifically. If I can think of more, I might come up, I might mention them. But right now, I have my mind set on two things. One is something that they're actually planning on doing, and the other is something that I hope they do. So without further ado, let's get started. Alright. So. You guys that like to hunt. You better do it now, because not much longer, for not much, you won't be able to do it for that much longer. You know why? Well, killing animals to get food will soon become obsolete. Because we're able to take the DNA of an, an animal and just craft meat from that. So, if we're able to do that, what's the point of hunting? I mean, I know, I know some people like to do it for the hobby, but, but it's not going to be, not going to make sense. Like, why do it if you can, if we don't have to kill animals to get food? And it's not like the people that hunt even need to get the deer meat or whatever they're hunting. Because they can just get food from the grocery store. We just like to do it for the hobby. I like to make my own food, baby. Uh, the, n no, uh, look, you better do it now because I don't know if it'll always be legal to hunt. So do it while you still can. Because through throughout the history of the world, or hell, maybe even throughout the history of the universe, creatures have been eating other animals. So it's been going on for. Well, I don't know what the earliest creatures in the universe are, but let's just focus on the dinosaurs. So it's been going on for at least a couple hundred million years. And it's fine, we're finally turning the tables here and changing it up a bit. Now, I once told, this, told my dad about this whole lab-grown meat thing, and he said that sounded kind of gross. It sounds far less gross than eating actual meat from an actual animal. I mean, think about it. Of course you don't eat it straight from the animal. You have to, like... You have to process it and make sure it's edible and crap. But, still though. Like, you know what's also... Do you know what's also weird? When you go to a restaurant, any freaking restaurant, fast food or... Not fast food. You don't know who's handling your food. The person who's handling your food, you've never met before. I mean, maybe you have, but... Chances are, you're going to go to a restaurant you've never been before, and you're not going to go... Not going to know the people that work there. So, you... But you can assume that you can trust them because of the reviews that the... The restaurant got. But still, you don't know them, so you never know when they're going to screw up something. Well, that's the same with the lab-grown meat. Okay? It, 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 it's not really that gross. It, it makes sense. If we can make it taste like regular meat, then why not? Because... I don't know about you, but I don't think a lot of people like to look at the guts and crap of animals. But we have to do it to get the meat. And, it, and we need a variety of different food in this world, so not all food has to be meat. But a, most of it does. 
that's why we're running out of doctors because no, not a lot of people are, are willing to go to go through the bull crap that the schools have that you have to go through in order to become a doctor. All that schooling and crap. And even then, if you're becoming a medical doctor, you don't want to see the insides of somebody. Of course, that's not the case. If you want to become a doctor, that's that's fine. But just not a lot of people like that crap. Well, anyways. Okay, so, let's move on to what I hope happens. Have you ever noticed, all the healthy food tastes like crap, and all the junk food is tastes wonderful? How, what the hell? How, why is it that the food that's good for you is tastes like crap, but all the, all the food that's crap for you tastes so good? I don't get that. Like, now of course that's not always the case. There, there are some healthy tasting, health, or good tasting healthy foods, and there are some bad tasting junk foods. But the what I'm used to though, it's always the unhealthy crap. Well, what if in the future we find a way to make Healthy food tastes exactly like junk food. Or junk food... No, wait, yeah. Healthy food tastes like junk food. You see, they're already coming out with healthy cookies and stuff like that. So, it, they are not as good as the unhealthy version, because they took a lot of the chemicals and stuff out of there. But they still taste decent. So what if we're able to play with the chemicals and make it taste exactly the way we want to. I'm, I can't wait for that day. Boy, can I not. Ugh. Yeah. Alright, well, that was this episode. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.